are flying from New York to Madrid. We are starting our journey in Europe in Spain. It's technically in New Jersey airport. It's a very busy airport, quite small. I think I'm used to Canadian airports that are like obsessively large. And we obviously have international and domestic in different quadrants or terminals because we separate the two because we do often US immigration on the Canadian side. Not often, I think always. And here I'm like hiding in a back corner. <laughs> like It's under construction that I'm hiding here. I think our flight's gonna be delayed. And I didn't film anything going through the gates and everything because honestly I'm quite tired and just it's a lot to film and do this all on my own so I just knew it was better just to focus. Here's to a seven hour flight. It's a red eye. I arrive at 9 a.m. Madrid time which is about 3 a.m. New York time but I think if I sleep the whole flight it's about seven hours so should be able to adjust and when I arrive in Madrid I'm staying at an Airbnb that doesn't open or I'm not allowed to check until 4 p.m. so we'll see what we do when we arrive in Madrid but anyway mask is back on. We're gonna have a good flight. Thanks for following along. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. Before I got on my flight, I wanted to make sure that I was nice and loose and limber before I sat for those seven hours. My hips and lower back seem to be agitation areas for me when sitting on a plane this long. So I loosened up my quads, did a little bit of rotation since we're gonna be sitting parallel, and stretched my inner thighs. Also, my flying outfit's the same as last time. It's all black, it's easy, it's comfy, layers. We have made it to Madrid. We're currently still sitting at the airport. I have nowhere to be. I can't check until 4 p.m. So I brushed my teeth, I washed my face, I put my contacts in, I got some money exchanged and just figured out where I'm going to spend the next seven hours. Um, I do know I need to go get my phone figured out. I haven't even looked outside yet. I'm a little disorientated flight was good. Quite turbulent, like mid-flight. I kind of was like half dreaming during the time. Anytime they would like go on the intercom, it was so loud. So it really startled me and woke me up. But anyway, we did get dinner on the flight. It's been so long since I've gotten a meal on a flight. It was like a mixed wannabe spaghetti, but stir fry, but vegetarian. And then we did get a breakfast, which was a yogurt and cookie. And I did eat the yogurt. It's dairy yogurt and I haven't had dairy yogurt in like two years. It tasted so sour, but it was free. I just had a bite of a granola bar too, but time to go find some coffee.
I just rode the train two stations for it to turn around to go right back to where I first caught it because I realized there's construction and I should have gotten off and got a bus, but only Apple Maps said that, not Google Maps. So, who to trust? <laughs> so literally going up the escalator around and back down to catch the train again. I've already done this once. <laughs> I was on the wrong side, so I already went up and around. Now we're doing it again. We are at my Airbnb in Madrid and I so thankfully got to check in here earlier because I was just feeling absolute like begged. I've taken a two hour nap and I'm just not feeling excited. <laughs> I'm really excited to be here but I'm just really tired. So I think we're going to go figure out my phone plan. Honestly, dinner tonight might be like a granola bar too. I also have my cycle and I include that because I think it's really important to mention this that it's adding an extra layer to washroom situations and just how I feel so I feel like a sack of potatoes normally anyway. So it's just adding to not really having the desire to go out and explore and it's like a double wham. <laughs> Let's go figure this phone situation out and then we can come back and sleep. They also don't eat dinner until like 9 p.m. here. So how am I supposed to stay awake? <laughs> this has been the room before it gets messy. I have no closet space and towels. Looks like a heater. This is my bed. This goes up to the main street. And this little desk nook. And then a night table, so it's tight. But you know what? I'm doing the job, and then I have my own bathroom. Alright, I got myself a Spanish SIM card, which will be my new telephone number. It is 10 euros for 20 gigabytes of data to be used up in 28 days. That's like unheard of in Canada. To get 20 gigabytes, you're paying like $140. The thing is, I can refill it too, works throughout Europe. It's 100% worth it coming here to go and get a card. I had an old SIM card for my trip four years ago that I hung on to, but they're dead after X amount of time. So I've got a Spanish phone number this time instead of an Italian one.